What's good, world? It's General Hondo, still chopping with another video. And I want to say thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate y'all. My family, we growing, we growing. And, uh, and those that haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and spam that subscribe button because uh, YouTube's still messing with my views. But I ain't going to even trip on that because I'm happy that it's people that's, you know, out there watching me. So I must be doing must be doing something right. But yeah, with that being said, in this video, I'm chopping vinyl. Straight chop style. Just like I did in the last video when I chopped up some loops. And then in this video, I got a collab with the homie produced by Lovda. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and break down the beat of his real quick, put a snippet on there, and then uh, the the uh, sample, the vinyl sample beat. I'm gonna just go ahead and just uh, show you guys uh, me making the beat, and then I'm gonna just drop it at the end of the video. I'm gonna just try to drop it up real quick uh, because uh, YouTube playing with me, and then if y'all want me to do longer videos, I will. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, stay in quarantine. I know everybody just sick and tired of just being cooped up it's difficult everybody going stir crazy they like you know me too included like i just want to go out and do regular things with the family but we really can't do that right now because it's better to be safe and be alive at the end of the day but yet yeah, with that being said um get with me general hondo let's go all right y'all I'm going to show y'all real quick the breakdown that I got with Lubda. And I'm going to let you hear the the 16 bar loop that he sent me. And then the 808 and the kick that I added afterwards. So yeah, after the eight bars, he went an octave up. And when I added the 808, I added the 808 and kick in the same key that he he sent the sample in. So uh, pretty much I did the 808 in um, a higher and lower octave. Um, I sent him this version of it. And I sent him a version with a higher octave. But this 808 is so grimy that it sound horrible at a higher octave. But when it sound together, blended with the kick together, it sound way better. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to just play it real quick. See, that sound horrible. It's so grimy. And it don't sound, it don't, uh, it don't sound better in a higher octave than that. So I did the same thing with the kick. I layered the kick uh, with the 808, and then I I flip flopped octaves, kind of like uh, how most artists have nowadays when they flip flop the art the the octave. And I kept it simple because that's pretty much how the industry beats are nowadays. So I kept the the 808 and the kick simple. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play it real quick, and then and then put the more edited version after this.
All right, so I got the sample chopped up. I'm gonna go ahead and play with it. Thank you. 